Hi guys, my name is Daniel and this is Bite Size English. You might ask me, where is Malika? Why isn't she standing here with you? Well, one beautiful day she decided to change her life. You know, Daniel, it's never late to change your life. I've never done anything but teaching. What if I'm a talented artist, but I'm not aware of it because I never tried? Are you sure you want to change your life right now? We're filming. Yes, I'm sure. Good luck. I think you're gonna handle it. Come to see me sometime. So we haven't been filming since she left us, as the program is for two presenters. And we can't find anybody to replace her. Hey, I suggest that we go and check that she's doing well. Okay, let's go! Hey guys! So nice to see you! Come in! Hi Malika, how is it going? How is your artistic career? I don't know. I think I'm not really good at painting. It's a bit of a mess. You're at my worst. What do you think? Well... These are not masterpieces, but you definitely have an eye for color. Oh, thank you, then you are. You know, I was offered to write a poem for the local literature magazine, so maybe that is my vocation. Okay, so you're not painting anymore? No. I'll call you and read my poem, okay? Hi, Daniel. Check it out. If you ever lose your way, start again and do the same. But if your feelings go astray, you would better get away. Okay, I've got to tell you that you seem to be able to find the right rhymes. But please, don't get me wrong. I'm not sure that you have a genius for writing poems. Fair enough. Thank you for your feedback. I appreciate it. You're welcome. We're friends, so... Hey, are you coming back then? Not yet. I haven't tried to work on my musical career. That's fascinating. I really like it so far. Did you compose it yourself? I believe that you have a flair for music. And you have something down to a fine art. I'm missing my students terribly. I'm missing teaching, explaining the same things, and checking their homework. And yes, I'm missing bite size English. Thank God! I even started thinking that you'd never realize that. Don't you understand that you are in practice? You are past master at teaching people. And bite size English. You learn your script so fast and easily. You can do it in your sleep. So, was it fun? Your little break. It was. I believe it was worth it. You know, if you never try, you'll never know. You're right. However, you were quite tough to me. Was I? I was just expressing my opinion. By the way, what about revising all these tough expressions you used to let me down? I only used the positive ones, but in the negative sentences. Okay. To say that somebody is very good at doing something, you can say that. Have an eye for something. Be able to do something. Have a genius for. Have a flair for. Have something down to a fine art. Be in practice. Be a past master at. Can do something in your sleep. Well, happily your bohemian experiment didn't work out. People who were called Bohemians often were very poor. They tried to live by painting, acting or writing. In some ways, the life of a Bohemian artist was difficult, but it gave people freedom to express themselves. Henry Toulouse-Lautrec, Vincent van Gogh were Bohemian artists. I admire them. 
any way, try to find your way, guys. Remember, if you ever lose your way, start again and do the same. Write us about your artistic experiments on our Facebook and vk.com pages. I'm glad you're back, Malika. But I have to upset you. I've decided to change my life too. So I'm going to Japan to practice karate. No, you are in the yard. I'm not sure you have a genius for karate. Don't worry, guys. I'll stop him. Bye. Uh, uh, uh.